Hello and welcome to a new series of videos about Electrotechnik. We are talking about power circuits now. We are talking about how to calculate simple circuits. So actually, we need a, a so-called circuit in electricity. So if the current is running somewhere, yeah, in one direction, it has to be, there needs to be the possibility that the current is coming back. Otherwise, it will just be a congestion, like, like in a dead end street. Hmm? Dead end street, no traffic. Hmm. And so, if you have a loop, yeah, a power circuit it's called, then it's working. And like usual in, in every technique, yeah, we are drawing plans of power circuits yeah, to show how a power circuit should look like and therefore we need symbols. A very common element inside a power circuit is something like this. A piece of conductive material, yeah, a wire yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Wire. What is the symbol of a wire? The symbol of a wire is that. Is a connection, connection wire. Yeah. In example, wire. That's a connection. And to make it easier, we say in our plans, or well, that's the that's the rule, yeah, that a connection in a plan is ideal. So whatever voltage or potential we have here, we have here. There is no resistance at all of this wire. Even if we know that in reality this piece of wire would need, would have already some resistance. So the, the, the current is not flowing, running through by just with, without. We need some power to rush current through. In our circuits, we don't need. Huh? So we idolize the world here a little bit. Huh? And this here, huh? look at that. This is a resistor. Huh? This is a resistor. This is how a resistor looks like if, we, if you buy them. At least a big resistor as well. Not the resistance value actually. What is this resistance value? This is 220 ohms. 220 ohms. This is how a resistor would look like if you buy one. How is the symbol of a, a resistor? This here. Look how it looks like. The symbol is like that. Symbol of a resistor. Looking good, right? Looking almost like it looks in real. Resistor. And if we want to have a model of a real conductive material, of a real wire like that, yeah, we would use a wire and a resistor in series, yeah, so one after the other. To, and the resistor, this is not, there is no resistor really there, yeah, but we say we think of the resistance of this wire as it would there be a resistance and the rest of the wire, a resistor and the rest of the wire is just ideal. This is <coughs> how you can look at things. Then we have, for instance, uh, stuff like that. Look at that. So that's a potentiometer, it's called. Potentiometer. We can turn here the knob. And it's also written here 10K. Right? How is this thing working? What is this? This is also a resistor, however, a, a, a changeable resistor. It would look like the symbol of the, this element is looking like that. So we have a resistor, in, in this case 10K, 
is indicating this is a 10 kilo ohm resistor and then we have a connector and a third connection potency meter this thing is called right potency meter then i also have this this little resistor here look at that this is also a resistor like i already mentioned uh, two connections and some special form of what is this this is a resistor which can change pretty much the same as this this is really tiny a little tiny black knob this is also a resistor however this resistor is changing its resistance value with temperature. This resistor is changing its resistance value with illumination. So we have resistors which can change the value. And like usual in technique, we draw a resistor. And if it's changeable, we draw a little arrow through. So this is a this is a, a changeable resistor. You can draw little symbols not close to this arrow, and these little symbols somehow indicate what physical unit is changing the resistor and so on. So that's that. And here I also have other stuff that this is a capacitors for instance uh, capacitors we will talk about capacitors so one the big one is electrolytic capacitor uh, the big one is electrolytic capacitor and the small one is a ceramic capacitor so this is how those those are looking they also have their own symbols they also have their own symbols yeah so that's that's symbols. So we are using symbols to draw our so there are more just tuk 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 symbols. Right just symbols there. And if we want to draw a power circuit with those symbols so let's say we have somewhere a connector, then we have a piece of wire, then we have a resistor, then we have a piece of wire again, then we have a connector. And now I can also draw or add the other physical quantities. So I name the resistor name the resistor i call it r l load for loads this resistor is the load we want to drive yeah here is the, we plug in some some power yeah so we plug in here a certain voltage source voltage call it u0 maybe yeah? so this is maybe a power plug or something like this where we put in and this is the, the connectors and the cable and this is our load we are driving at the load we do have here a voltage ul at the load uh, load voltage and here we have a current il a current at the load hmm. now i've simply drawn some arrows huh? and the arrows i have chosen the direction of the arrows does not really matter huh? i've chosen the arrows somehow simply and this somehow is called uh, the reference direction and if you calculate now a little bit at this circuit uh, power circuit uh, and an and unit for instance this this voltage and so on is maybe negative yeah then you know in reality it would be the other direction uh. what is reality well we call this Technical current direction. Yeah? Technical current direction.
is from higher potential to lower potential. This is what we say, this is the current. The current is running from plus to minus. All right. So from plus to minus, from higher potential to lower potential, that's the technical current, the current direction. Even we talked about uh, how in metals and, and, and solids, usually conductive materials, there is uh, electrons moving. Yeah? Because all other things, the, the cores and so on, the nucleus, have to stay at the same place and the electrons are moving and the electrons are moving in the opposite direction than the technical current, but they are negative, so the current is running in the other direction. So technical current direction is always from plus to minus, always. Yeah? And giving this into account, it is a very good idea, a very good idea. I said, you can, you can draw those, those uh, um, arrows however you like. That's true. However, there is one rule you should stick to. Yeah? The rule is that at a resistance, voltage and current should point in the same direction. Yeah? Because then there is this Ohm's law yeah? that the UL is RL multiplied by IL. Yeah? And this does only applic yeah, if voltage and current are in the same direction. If they're not in the same direction, yeah, then I have to draw a minus. Yeah, if I would turn UL, I could write minus UL. If I would turn IL, I would write minus, multiplied by minus IL. So there is somewhere a minus inside. Yeah. So my advice, just draw, just draw it in the same direction. Yeah. If you stick to this plan, you can always do it the same way and don't have to think. And whatever is automated, so whatever you, whenever you don't have to think that something is working, you make less errors. And that's actually what is it about, yeah? Make no errors. And so only rule I and U and an R in the same direction. All other things does not really matter, yeah? You can simply assume this assumed, assumed direction Right, uh, assume direction of voltage and current is called reference direction. Reference direction, all right? We will later on learn how to calculate circuits. And if then a certain voltage or current is turning out to be negative, then in reality it will flow in the other direction. However, we will not change the reference direction. Right? This is not good practice. We simply assume a direction, that's there also reference direction, and if then the, the result is negative, then it's in the other direction. But we would not change our reference values there. So that's actually a power circuit yeah? with the symbols and with the technical current direction and reference directions. Yeah, so next time we are going to make the first step in calculating those power circuits. Yeah? There is a guy called, there was a guy called Gustav Kirchhoff and he did some laws. Uh, we're talking about his first law next time. Uh, node rule, it's also called. First Kirchhoff's law, next video for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.